fifth question of uh, 2016 paper. Uh, school band has a collection of instruments and they are lent to students who don't have instruments but want to be part of the school band. The school band maintain a database to manage the lending of instruments to the students. The database contains tables as given below. Okay, question ask, list two primary key fields and their respective table names. Right, Amasha do matekakyan. Can you give me the primary key for the instrument table? Item ID? Yes, it's uh, instrument ID. Uh, for this table. So let me underline this one. Okay, so this is the primary key. Yes, uh, Pramodi, can you give me the primary key for the student table? ID. Yes, student ID is the uh, primary key for student table. Right, can you tell me like what is the primary key in the borrowing table? So we can say that instrument table it's I ID student table it's SID for oh, borrowing table can you tell me what is the primary key Yes, Pramudi, what is the primary key for the borrowing table? Amasha, what is the primary key for the borrowing table? All right. So what do you mean by primary key, first of all? Definition of primary key. Primary key can you get the key? Is it a one field or two fields? From the primary key. Yes, primary key. Primary key. Identify to unique. Uh, yes. A field or a set of fields. It could be a one field. It could be a multiple. That can be used to uniquely identify what? Each of the record in a table. So that's why IID is a primary key for the instrument table. You have a set of unique values. SID in student table also you have unique values. Similarly, in borrowing table, we need to find out, right, a field. So single field is not going to work because they are duplicate. So which means you have to have multiple fields together. So one answer would be you can say, okay, primary key is both IID and SID. So borrowing, for example, We can have IID plus SID, both. I put plus to indicate both. So these are the primary keys. 
Right. Okay. Another question. How many uh, foreign keys are there in the instrument table, Pramudi? How many foreign keys are there in the instrument table? No, no foreign keys. No foreign keys in instrument table. Good. So what is the definition for the foreign key? What is the definition for the foreign key? How do you define foreign key? There are two uh, things need to be satisfied by the foreign key. What is the first one? Uh, for uh, two tables, you have to have a common field. So the first, uh, you know, fact is you have to have a field which is common. You should not have the same name. It's okay. You can have different names, but it's still the values should be the same. That is the first condition. Second condition, it should connect to the the other table's primary key. So that is the second condition. So if you take IID, it's common with borrowing table. But then again, IID is not connected to the borrowing's IID because it's only a part of it. So there's no primary, sorry, foreign keys in instrument table. Similarly, if you look at SID, so SID also come in, uh, common in student table and borrowing table. But if you look at the connectivity, uh, student table SID connects to the SID in the borrowing table, which is a part of it. Right? So there's no uh, foreign keys in student table as well. Ramudi, what do you think? Borrowing table, do you have any foreign keys? Yes. Yes. Okay. What are the foreign keys in borrowing table? Amasha? Uh, instrument ID and instrument ID. Yes. Instrument ID and student ID are, you know, there are two foreign keys. Instrument ID connects to the instrument table. Uh, student ID connects to the student table. Right. So there are two uh, foreign keys in Paravin table. Okay. Second question. The school band received a donation of two new drums. Second December 2016. What tables needs to be updated in the table database? Okay, what is the answer for the first one? Part A, what tables needs to, needs to be updated in the database? Instrument table. Instrument table, okay. So what are the records? Right. Okay. So in this particular case, we can say two new drums. So when you say two new drums, what should happen? Hmm? When you say two new drums,
Yes, what are the two records then? What are the two records? So we have to say 1004 drum and we have to put the date. 1005 drum, you know, you have to put the date. So it should be like that. Last one. Someone joins a band on 8th December 2016 and borrows Trumpet on the same day. What tables need to be updated? Another person, someone. So that means S006. It should be someone. But we don't know the grade, so you can keep it empty. Then borrowing table, you get the same date so we can see thousand and one so that is a comfort and it's to a new student s zero zero six Okay, so with that one, we can move to uh, question number six. Right. So question number six, we are going to develop a computer-based system. State one method that can be used to gather requirements of the system. So how do you collect the requirements of the system? Question number six. Right. One thing is observation as Pramodhi said, yes, you can observe. Yes, what else? Interviews, quizzes, right? All these can be taken as uh, the methods available. And B, so they have used the waterfall model. One limitation. So what is the limitation? Yes, one limitation. Yes, you cannot go back to the previous phase, Pramudi. Good. Actually, we are discussing in 2016 paper question number six in part two. Limitations. One is the requirements. You cannot change requirements once you start the process.
and then all the requirements we have to identify in the beginning. Yes, let's take down some of the examples like here, 6A, that we already know. You can start from the observation, interviews, quizzes, Right. Documents. So all these comes under sixty. Then B. We have to identify some limitations. Right. Yes. Unable to go back to the previous phase. You cannot go back. And all the requirements should be identified in the beginning. It should be identified in the, in the beginning. Right. And what are the alternative? Other ways of developing, we, we discuss waterfall. What are the other ways? Yes, Binu. Question number six, part two. So it says uh, they are using waterfall model. Part two asks, like, what are the other ways that we could use? Right? So we have can say the other alternative methods. Right? We can use spiral. Right. Then go to C. Let's go to C. One. What would be the most appropriate deployment method for this system? Yeah. Yes, what do you think? Deployment, meaning like you finish the system, you are going to go back. That means you are going to put the system in this code, right? Yes, what do you think? Right? What do you think? We can use parallel. What do you mean by parallel? 
when you have the old system with the old system you are going to handle new system it's called parallel right the second one recommendation uh, state one reason for recommendation you made in c1 above a kela hano parallel a yes Yes, parallel. Why is that? Why, by doing that one, you get. Hmm? Yes, uh, as Pramod said, it's safer. Safest method because if something goes wrong in the new uh, new system, you can easily go back to old system. Right, so that's part one. Okay, let's go to part two. A company with head office in Colombo, three branches in Candy Mother, Jaffna, decided to conduct monthly branch managers meeting using video conferencing technology. Write down what advantage of using video conferencing technology for the company. Right. I need everyone to answer that. Yes. What are the advantages of use of video conferencing technology? Yes, one advantage, we can have six part two A, one advantage, right? Saves time, no traveling, huh? saves cost. You can save time because you don't have to travel. Saves cost, meaning like when you travel, you have to spend money for this, right? So that's A. Part two B, one problem. Right now we are using uh, video conferencing technology. Although we are not using video. Yes, what is missing here? What part is missing? How about the, in a physical class? What would be the reason now? Right now, nobody's giving me answers, for example. If I would have uh, physical classes, I can ask, okay, Achira, tell me the answer. I could have taken it. Right now, it's like uh, nobody wants to share the answers. I tried with Binu, again failed. Yes. Yes, what are the issues? One problem. Yes, problem this is face to face interaction. Miss, okay. Face to face interaction. Right, live, right? It's live, right? Face to face interaction is missed. Is it important to have a face-to-face -face interaction? Yes, definitely. 
then you you need the internet connection a reliable internet connection needs we need what we need reliable internet connection so you need to have internet connection right see currently the above company uses printed letters and means memos to communicate with its employees it is decided to use modern technology to replace current method of communicating with the employees Yes, part C ask what are the alternative means instead of printed letters, right? First one is you can use email or you can use WhatsApp, Viber, you know, any other, you know, messaging service could be used. Right. Or C, we can say, yes. email whatsapp viber so these are possibilities right in addition to the video conferencing your recommendation above see state two other methods the company can use communicates employee using modern technology whatever we have put it there other than that what are the other technologies yes we can see okay sms forums right we can use sms forums right or social media these are some examples okay so with that one we finish uh, question number 6 as well right question number 7 can you send me your answer only that part i will i will uh, correct and send it to you to my mobile those who are not done you can try now I think you can hear now. So I want you to send me the answer for question number seven, part one. If you have already done, just send it to me uh, WhatsApp. Only that part. I want to correct.
Okay, Amasha sent me the answer. Pramudi also sent me the answer. Vinu also sent me the answer. Achira? I, I will share answer from Amasha. Here is Amasha's answer. So you start, either you can have read AB or input AB, doesn't matter. Then we have a selection, we can check whether A is greater than B. It's a yes, no question. You have two sides, if it is yes, then you know you have to display A. Else, you have to display B. Right, okay, good. I have marked. Your answers. Part two. Suppose school has conducted examination of a particular subject for 100 students and recorded the mark scored. The given flowchart with blank spaces indicated by labels A to D is designed to read these marks and display highest. Identify and write down the appropriate statements. So what we want to find out is the highest and we have to check for 100, isn't it? So the count is equal to one. So we need to find out the count here. So we know from here that it should be, we can ask is count greater than or equal 100, isn't it? So this is the question we can ask. If it is yes, we can increase the count. Right? And then we want to get the value. <clears throat> so that's B. So we can say input X. Right. If greater than max, then we know that
this should be max see max should be x isn't it because x is greater than max the maximum possible value then we have to change it. and finally right we can have display max okay so with that one we have finished 2016 part 2 uh, so we have about one more hour so i will give you a, a set of mc question you to try now right so let's start i will share this in the chat so i put the link take the link right so shall we start within uh, let's finish within one hour okay Let's start. <laughs> 